Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a series review of Astra Lost in Space. This is by Kenta Shinohara. It is a Viz release and it is actually five volumes in total, um, but I only own the first three. I have read the entire series on the Shonen Jump app, which is why I'm reviewing the entire series, uh, even though I don't own physically the whole thing. Um, I read it first on the app and then I loved it so much I want to buy the series physically. Uh, I have the first three right now, obviously, and I will get the final two at some point, but wanted to get this review out there so other people can enjoy this series um, sooner rather than later. Uh, so this is a story set in, I think it said 2063 on the back of the first volume. Um, and basically they're teenagers. It's a group of, I think there's seven of them. Um, who are going on a trip and it's a kind of like real world experience sort of thing like they're graduating so this is their trip and they get to go to another planet and um, kind of explore and have a little mini vacation I think it's supposed to be a week long or something like that and um, they go they get in the spaceship, they go to the planet, and then they get sucked up by this orb that shoots them out into space. Uh, and so it is a survival story about these seven um, young people just trying to make it back to their, their original planet. Uh, make it back home in, in this beaten up spaceship that, that has no communication with anybody else. And it, they're basically planet hopping. To get back home and it is exciting there are so many twists and turns there's a lot of um there's a bit of suspense as well and mystery about why this happened who who are these young people and why are they important um and why did this happen to them specifically and what's going on back home it is so good it's it's a shonen, but like if you're not someone who normally reads shonen, I highly recommend this. I don't read. I read more shojo than I do shonen um, manga, but I do. I don't not enjoy shonen, but I find things get repetitive and things are just like I, I get bored easily. This is five volumes, short and sweet very distinct characters with distinct personalities, a very kind of well thought out, thought out story that just flows pretty nicely. And you're never bored because they're always, they're hopping planets. So you get to see a new kind of world and see what happens in that, that world. Um, each time they go to a new planet, you're, you're rooting for them. But at the same time, you're like, you, you feel this like sense of mystery and, and danger and you're not really sure why and it's all so well done and I don't know if maybe I'm just not that intelligent but I did not see some of these twists and turns coming um some of them they kind of lead you up to it but 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 some of them I was like completely thrown off guard and did not even would never have guessed that that was going to happen, which is so fun and exciting. I love it when manga surprises me. I love it when it when it just completely sucks me into a story. I read this on the, the Shonen Jump app, like I mentioned, and I just could not stop reading it. It was so good. Um, this is one that I would recommend either just read it on the app first or just buy the five volumes it's five volumes and they're actually quite some of them are quite thicker than like a normal volume um so you're getting good uh quantity for your money at least and they're just regular viz priced volumes so buying the five of them if you get them for a, a, a even slightly below retail price I think is worth it. Honestly, it's so good and you're going to want to read it right through. You're not going to want to put this down. Um, the, the characters are all so unique and fun and just, 
yeah, it's got so much. It's got humor, it's got mystery, it's got intrigue, it's got surprises and and beautiful art. The art is just stunning. And like I mentioned, with the fact that, you know, they're going to different um, worlds, you get a lot of really nice nature. Uh, I also love the paneling. Um like it's just very angular and very clean cut and I, I really enjoyed that. Um, especially since it's, there is quite a lot of text in this as well. Um, oh, there's a good one. There's quite a lot of text, but it isn't like, it doesn't take forever to read. Um, yeah, I just, I highly recommend Astro Lost in Space. I had heard a lot of people have really good things to say about it, and it, it got me curious, and I couldn't agree more with everything I've heard about it, that, that it's just, it's so good. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a shonen that has more kind of, like, deeper character development, uh, despite how short the series is, and just goes a little deeper, um than just kind of a more superficial, like, battle shonen. Um, this is the one to pick up, for sure. If you've read Astro Lost in Space, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, if you have any recommendations of things that are similar to this, or anything on the Shonen Jump app that you think I should check out, uh, please let me know, because I'm just kind of reading random series right now on the app, and... Um, I'm looking for like a really good story and something to pull me in the way that Astro Lost in Space did. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you.